Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I am unboxing my new stool dolly. I don't know the technical term, I always called it a stool. Um, I saw this on one of Obsessed Garage cleaning videos, just in uh, the background, already got up and it slid away. And it looked pretty good. Um, I haven't really had a problem with my chair, I just wanted to upgrade. And coincidentally, I went online and ordered it. Then I came into my garage to clean the garage and my car lift was up. I lowered the car lift without looking around it and squished my current chair. So, I don't know if it was fate, coincidence, or karma, or whatever it is, but perfect timing, because a day and a half later, this baby arrived and I'm excited to see how it looks. What it did do is come in two boxes. I'm pretty sure I only ordered one chair, but I think it's a pretty complex chair. But this box, the white box arrived a day after the brown box. So let's open it up and see how it looks. So sorry about the bird in the background, but it's frowned upon to uh, take my shotgun out in the Chicago suburbs and shoot it. Not like I would, but it is making a noise. And so are my neighbors. <laughs> Alrighty, lots of pieces in here, but I think it will be a good chair. Box number Here are the assembly instructions. I must have ordered two things because I have no idea what's in the second box here. But let me finish unwrapping this. So this chair actually looks pretty cool. Uh, it's got a lot of compartments. So as you can see, there's a drawer right here. It does lock in with gravity, so that's nice. Let's work on assembling it now. <clears throat> Pretty straightforward assembly. Bolt and a washer coming in from the top, or in this case, the bottom goes right through. Another washer and a nut. Straightforward. Simple. I like simple. Especially when it comes to a product that's meant to make life simple. It's nothing 
worse than it being complex to manufacture. So in my previous life, which is still currently this life, <laughs> I was in manufacturing. Um, but what I, I manufactured our product we sold, which was bedding products, pillows, mattress, mattresses, mattress protectors, all the stuff you need to go to sleep. But what I also did was I designed and developed and patented a couple display racks. And, and that's for retail stores. And the main thing I had to do when I was designing those was making sure when we shipped it to a store, it was easy enough for the person in the store to assemble it. So I love easy assemble. So I love things that are easy to assemble because that's what I did for a while. Alrighty, so we need a Phillips. Okay, well, drills too long. Drill was too long to fit underneath, so I'm gonna use an impact. Simple Phillips head. Now, let's get it right. It must be metric. Everything in this world is metric now because it's uh, made in China, I assume. But this is a 10 mil. Uh, nothing wrong with made in China, just. Okay, so this bit is too long. Let's use a tiny bit. Itty bitty bit. Perfect. Well, guys, I was wrong. He's not a Phillips. So that was pretty stupid of me. There we go. It's an Allen head. Uh, H4. If that's a thing. This is more complex than it should be because we got short space for the drill to fit in. But that being said, still easy. So let's see if I did this wrong. I see, I see. It is optional to be bolted in here. Uh, I don't think I will bolt it in. I don't know if I'll use this. This is more for car cleaning. Um, that way, if it's in the way, I can just remove it. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. It does clip in. If you want, uh, you can bolt it through. So for now, that's what it looks like. Let's check it out. <clears throat> so.
So we have a nice drawer here. It does have a gravity latch. So you just gotta pull it up a bit. That's nice. Uh, some trays for nuts, bolts, and whatever that you're using. Those do bolt in. Uh, heavy duty wheels that have a lock. Locks on both sides. Well, locks are on one side on both wheels. So I'm gonna get out and spin on it. Take it for a little lap, if you will. Well, it definitely feels more sturdy than my other one. Uh, I'm a heavy guy, so that one did have some flex in it. These wheels are much bigger, so it'll help too. Uh, don't think I'll ever use the locks, but it's nice to have. So let's find out what's in the other box. Well, a lot of POP material, the catalog, so I will keep this in case I'm looking for something. Return labels. But it looks like we have another catalog. A seat cushion. <laughs> and then, Okay, I see, I see, I see. So, uh, for your big size beer. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Uh, it definitely looks over engineered, but good thing is these are removable um, if you don't need them, which I probably won't use these at all unless I have a big beer bottle. So I'll keep those away. I'll probably just leave here because it's nice to throw some nuts in there when you're working. It's nice to have this drawer and then a nice comfy cushion. So there you have it, my new dolly for sliding around. Uh, my car lift in here doesn't go all the way where I can stand on and work on the car because the ceiling height. So I did get it so I can come up to basically this level and work on the car. So if I do oil changes and whatnot, I'm gonna have to be on a bench. So I figured a good 30 bench is good to have here. Or, oh, well, here's the fully assembled. Let me get a tape measure so you know how big this is. What's good about my Sonic tool cabinets is everything is in the same place always, laser cutout uh, inserts. So let me tell you how long this is. It is 36 inches long with these extensions on here. Without these extensions, you're talking 26 inches long. With the, the wheels, well the axles 13 inches. And then height of the chair at the peak is 15 and a half inches. So hope that helps make your life easier when it comes to choosing a, a, a chair, a dolly, or whatever these things are called, to me, it's uh, my back saver. Uh, this one looks good. 
I will use it for a couple months here. I am going to be working on a car on this lift. Uh, if you want to check out those videos, be sure to subscribe. I am turning my teenage dream car, which is a VW R32 uh, MK4 into an ice racing car for this winter. So I've got a couple mods i got to do there. i got to lift the car a bit, full oil, t oil change, brake fluids, all that fun stuff. So this will definitely get a lot of use and I will definitely have uh, better feedback for you later. So thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to check out more content like this.